Hey, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize Wu Chang Fallen Feathers for your PC to improve your FPS, reduce lags, stutter and black screen issues. Make sure to watch this video till the end because I'm going to be covering all of the best windows as well as the game settings to help you optimize your FPS. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. <laughs> That, let's start with the step number one that is the best window settings head over to settings on your pc and right over here come down to gaming head over to game bar and simply disable that since it is an overlay service keeping game bar on will result in reduced fps after that go back to gaming head over to game mode and turn this thing on it will help you to optimize your pc by turning things and applications off in the background helping you to get better fps then click on the graphics settings underneath and enable optimizations for windows games as it uses advanced features to help fix input latency and then click on advanced graphics settings and then select your default high performance gpu to your native graphic card this will help you to prefer your hardware based graphics over your software based graphics then click on add desktop app button and then go to the download location of the game once you're over here simply select wu chang fallen feathers and then head over to project plague Binaries Win64 and then you'll find Project Plague Win64 Shipping.exe. Click on the Add button and then scroll a bit down to find where it was added. Select it and then for the GPU preference, select High Performance over here and close your settings. Before moving ahead, I want to introduce you guys to W Masters Zip King which is an alternative to WinRAR and 7-Zip. You guys can come to the official website and get it for free. Once you open up the Zip King, you guys will find a ton of options apart from unzipping and extracting your RAR files. You can compress large size files, images, PDFs and extract them. They also have a lossless video compression available where you guys can simply go there select a file for example i'm going to be selecting this one which is originally 268 megabyte you can convert it to let's say 100 mbs with highest resolution simply select the target and set it to 100 mbs and then click on the compress button it is super fast and efficient and i'm going to be showing you guys the quality once that is done head over to the folder and now you guys can right click on it head over to its properties and you guys can see that it has reduced it down to 166 megabytes the video quality is surprisingly good as well once again w masters zip king is available for totally free for a limited time and i would recommend you guys not to miss out on this it has a ton of features as you guys can check on their website and there are a lot of things you guys can explore once you download it for yourself check out w masters zip king for free from the link in the description below next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and right over here select custom enable save taskbar thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts all four of these options will keep your windows look normal but it will disable all kind of unnecessary animations on your pc the next step is right under the advanced tab that is processor scheduling simply set this thing to programs and then for the virtual memory click on the change button deselect automatically manage paging file size and then select your local Disk C. Click on custom size and then for the initial size set this thing to 1361. Make sure that this is set in megabytes. Then for the maximum size open up your calculator. Now here is how it works. You need to look for your system memory and for that simply search for system information then look for install physical memory. That is 32 GB for me so what you have to do is multiply that number with 1024. This will give you your memory in megabytes. Divide this value by 2 and the new value that you get over here should be pasted in. So 16384. Click on the set button and then click on OK. This will help you to correctly set up virtual memory for gaming and it will help you to fix black screen issues and game not launching issues. Next step is msconfig and for that simply search for msconfig over here and open up system configuration. Then you wanna have to head over to the boot settings and then click on advanced option. Click on number of processor and choose the maximum number of processors available for your processor. Click on the OK button and then select no GUI boot. Click on the apply button. Next step is head over to the services tab and then click on hide all Microsoft services. Then you wanna have to disable all kind of browser update services, RGB services and any services that you feel are irrelevant and you're not using that. Make sure to not disable services like VGC or other anti-cheat services because that might cause your game launching issues. Once that is done, click on the OK button. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and right over here click on system protection. Head over to your local disk C and then click on create. 
name it Wu Chang and then click on the enter button. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your game settings back to normal without any form of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Wu Chang FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You'll find in six very simple folders over here. The first one is CPU priority in which I have left AMD as well as Intel CPU priority. You have to select your processor and apply the priority relevant to you. I have an AMD CPU so I need to apply this priority so simply double click to apply that. This will help you to set up the correct default value for your processor to improve your processor's performance and help you get better FPS. Next is game priority that is Wuchang priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Once that is done, head over to the third folder which is RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of registries. This will help you to boost your RAM's performance. Simply find the registry relative to your RAM that is 32 GB for me over here. Simply double click to apply that. And if you want to revert it back again, head over to reset to default registry and double click to apply that to set it back again. Fourth one is power plan settings in which I have left import ultimate performance power plan. You wanna have to right click and run it as administrator. This will run a PowerShell command on your PC. And after that head over to power plans and then select ultimate performance from this list. If it is not available to you, click on show additional plans and ultimate performance will be right there. Select it and simply close it. Fifth one is disabling unwanted services in which I have left all of these services which are absolutely useless but they are running in the background of your PC utilizing your CPU and RAM resources. To fix it, you need to double click and apply every single one of these registry over here to disable these unwanted services in the background. Now if you use any printer or Bluetooth services, leave these two as it is and disable every single one of them. Last folder is the programs folder in which I have left clean temporary files dot pat. You wanna have to right click and run it as administrator. This will open up a CMD over here. You have to press enter on your keyboard and this will delete all temporary files and prefetch files on your PC. This will help you to fix unwanted FPS drops. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0 and this is to ensure that your GPU priority is high. So to do that, right click and run it as administrator. And once you're over here, select your graphic card, click on the MSI button next to it and for the interrupt priority, select high. This will ensure that your graphic card is prioritized high to handle interrupts to improve its performance without overclocking it. Next is quick CPU and this is a setup file. Install quick CPU on your PC and open it up. To install it simply press next, click on I accept, hit next again and then click on next. Once it installs, quick CPU will open right in front of you. What you guys are looking for over here is your power mode. Select click on max performance. And then you will find core parking index, frequency scaling and turbo boost. I would recommend you guys to slide all of this to 100% and then click on the apply button. Click on OK and that should be it. Once that is done, close your FPS pack. Next step is compatibility settings and for that head over to Steam. Right click on your game and then click on manage. Click on browse local files and over here you have to go over to the project plague folder. Then binaries, win64 and then you have to scroll down to find project plague win64 shipping.exe. You wanna have to right click on that, head over to its properties and then click on compatibility. Select disable full screen optimization and then click on change high DPI settings. Select this option, click on OK and then apply. Once that is done, simply close it and now you guys can drop into the game with the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then come down to this option that is settings. Over here, come down to graphic settings and then you'll find display. Select your native display and then scroll down to your display mode. Go with borderless window. For resolution, go with your native monitor resolution and vSync should be turned off. Lock FPS, go with unlimited. After that, you'll find overall quality. You guys can go with custom. Motion blur and depth of field should be turned off. Then head over to the advanced graphic settings and then you'll find oversampling resolution. I have set this thing to 50, but you guys can reduce it down to improve your FPS. Then you'll find super resolution oversampling. Go with FSR. Frame generation should be turned on for extra frames if this is available for you. This will result in a little bit of input latency, but enabling that will help you to boost your FPS drastically. For anti-aliasing quality, go with mid, sharpening, free, post-processing, shadow quality, and effects quality along with the viewing distance. All four of them should be set to low. Then your texture quality, go with mid or high. Both of them works absolutely fine if your graphic card can handle it. Vegetation quality low because this is a drastic FPS impactor along with a volumetric fog anything related to volumetric should be set to low automatically because it hits your FPS like a truck. Then you'll find global illumination go with off. 
and ambient occlusion go with low. AO is mostly dirt cheap in games so you guys can try increasing it to see if that impacts your FPS. Reflection quality go with low and once that is done, go back and now you guys can enjoy your game with the highest FPS possible. So guys that was it for this video, I hope I could have helped you out, if I could have make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button since you are really close to 250,000 subscribers. I really trust you all to help us achieve that target and we'll see you in another amazing video until then stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.